Hi, Mike Safe here with World Class Coaching and in this video I'm going to show you a preview of our brand new World Class Coaching Session Designer. The Session Designer is an online tool that's going to allow you to generate your own diagrams, create your own training sessions. Uh, you can download them to your computer or you can save them and print them. Uh, the good news is it's going to be free to all subscribers of the Member Drills database. Uh, if you're not a subscriber to the Member Drills database, then you can buy it separately, uh, but it's free to all subscribers of the Member Drills database. Okay, so this is the login screen. So I'm going to log in here, which will then bring me to this screen here, which will show me a list of any previous diagrams that I've done that I can open again, uh, manipulate and save and so on. In this example here though, we're going to create a new diagram from scratch, so we'll call it New Diagram. And that will bring you to this session designer. So the first thing that you would choose is your field background. So I'm going to choose this one. And then now let's take a look at the actual session designer itself. So on the left side going down here, you have a list of palettes. One for players, equipment and goals, shapes lines and curves and a zoom tool and then across the top you've got a ribbon here with various uh, menus for editing the diagram so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the size of the palette so that I can see all my players in one view uh, now I also want to increase the size of the diagram to make that easier to see and work with so I'm going to go to this zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in and that will make the diagram bigger and easier for me to see. So let's get on with creating a diagram. To, to put a player on the field or any object actually is simply a question of clicking and dragging onto the screen. Once you've dragged it onto the diagram, you can move it around as many times as you want, position it exactly where you want, you can increase the size, you can decrease the size, if you want to get back to the original, you've got an undo button here where you can undo as many times as you like. And for players, you can choose whatever color you want. So I'm going to choose white for my goalkeeper. And now I'm going to drag him up here to where I want him. Okay, so let's have a look at players. I'm going to have four defenders along the line here. So I'll drag this guy here. So there's my first defender. Now, instead of doing that every time for four times for four players, the easiest way would be to hold the control key down and simply just copy the player and drag him where you want him. So now I'm going to put four attackers here. So I'll use this player here, drag him onto the field. Now I want my attackers to be yellow. So I'm going to make this guy yellow and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy and drag four players here. Now if you notice, this player and this player are kind of looking the wrong way, so I want them flipped around to face the other way. So I go to the flip button here and just flip those so they're facing the way that I'd like them. Okay, so there's the players. Now let's have a look at equipment and goals. I'm going to put a cone by this player here. That cone's a little big, so I'm just going to resize that and move the cone there and then I'm going to put a ball by this player here. Now I want this player to be making a pass to this player. So I'm going to go to lines and curves. Now for passes we always use the dash arrow so I'm going to bring the dashed arrow on the screen here and then to manipulate it you just drag the endpoints to where you want them and you can drag that as many times as you want. In this example, I'm going to have it dragged to that guy. So this player here is making a pass to that player. Now if you prefer to use colors, you can edit the color of your line. So if you want to make it white, there it is. But we always use black, so let me move back to black. You can make it any of those colors, obviously. Now the other thing I want is this player, this yellow player here, to make a curved run around that player once he's made his pass. So I'm going to get a medium curve here. And same thing again, you just manipulate the endpoints to where you want them. Now that 
curve is facing the wrong way I want it to be curved the other way so I'll just go up here and flip that round a little and then I'm going to just manipulate it slightly more slightly more so there you go so he's making a pass and then he's running around this player now we've also got a dribble line here look that you can manipulate and play with I'll just delete that and you've got dash lines, arrows, shallow dribbles and so on and so forth okay now let's go to shapes and what we've got in shapes here are three text boxes that are preset although you can edit them to any size text and font and color that you'd like so in this preset I've got the player name so I'm gonna call this player here Wayne Rooney and just move that right there so that is Wayne Rooney uh, we've also got player numbers preset so I'm gonna call this one player one and then the same thing here hold my control down and drag and then I'll just double click each one call him player two player three and player four okay now there's one other thing that I wanted to show you which is you can group select so if I wanna click that one and hold my control key down and then once all three are selected I can move all three of those down at one time or back up at one time and you can do that with as many objects as you'd like okay so now what I'd like to do is once I've done that is write some notes about the session so you can put notes either here at this side or underneath so in order to do some notes I'm just gonna make this diagram a little smaller so I can see more of the screen Move that up here and then I'm going to drag the play the notes text box on. And here's the notes text box. And just slide that down there a little bit. Double click that. Notes for the session go here. And there you go. So you can write a description here, you can write your coaching points. Uh, or you can put them alongside here, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to just now move that so that it's off the diagram. So there you go. So that's just a brief look at creating a diagram. There's a lot more things you can do uh, up here with the menu uh, that you'll find once you get used to it. Uh, what I want to do here just before I go is show you the print preview. So I'm going to go print, show you the preview and if you want to print it out it's here and as I said you can put notes below or you can put notes alongside or you could just simply download it uh, to your computer so that you can add it to a Microsoft Word document or a PowerPoint document or something like that so there you go that's the first release it's still in beta form there's still one or two little bugs to work out but that's the first release of the world-class coaching session designer uh, and as I said, it's free to uh, it's going to be free to all subscribers of the uh, Member Drills database, or available separately if you want to buy it separately.